Welcome back, guys. I'm Sink. And I'm Echo. And we are back once again playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, we talked to Larry Butts and uh, found out he is a Steel Samurai blow up. Uh, display. Balloon. Yes. Balloon. Yes. Yes. That's the entire sentence I was meaning to say. Uh, in this episode, we are going to continue to move on. I believe we're going to the, uh... The Criminal, Criminal Affairs? Affairs. Yes. But that was the only place we haven't been to so far. That might have something important. Maybe regarding Gordy? Possibly. Hey there, pal. What's up? He looks out of sorts. Wait. You didn't go and do something that you get going to hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again. What do you mean again? Whatever. Take have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides money, that is. So tell me about Gordy. Yeah. Oh, there was an auction. <laughs> yeah. How's the investigation proceeding? It's not really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Edgeworth's father died in a DL6 incident. And the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. And Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag it out and hit him with it in court tomorrow, too. Poor Edgeworth. I gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. Okay, it shows that he has a motive, but it's still not proof that he did it. Sure. Alright, tell me about Gordy! Say, Detective, don't you? Do you know Gordy? The monster down in Gord Lake? Not personally, no. I love that line. <laughs> well, we're looking for him. Huh? Are you out of your minds? Eek! You got time to go wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me then? Oh! Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick! Oh gosh. Don't scare girls! Hey, what the hell? Don't I, go around killing people! Gosh! I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lada. Don't scare kids! <laughs> What's wrong with you? Nick, try to tell him sooner next time! I also like how the Sorry. street is black. Yeah, exactly. I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Okay. I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your searching for Gordy. Huh? I'll loan you one of my newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Oh. Really? You can take whichever one you like. Oh. Okay. Alright. Oh, tell me about these secret weapons. Okay, give us the goods. Hold on now, everything in due time. Let me first show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret weapon number one. Missile! What? M missile? He's a canine police dog, still in training. Oh. Missile! Missile! Here, boy! Oh! It's a doggy! <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh! It's so cute! Here he is! Hey, he's cute! Hey, look, Nick! Cute dog! <laughs> a cute dog. And this will help us out? Lucky for us, we don't have to voice it! Yeah. Next, secret weapon number two! A fishing pole! Um... What? <laughs> Here, this is my own personal pole! Are you- is it for, like, looking in the lake for stuff? Specifically that, or is it, like, legit a fishing pole that you use? <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. <laughs> yeah! How are we supposed to catch a just catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know until you try it, pal! Oh! Okay, maybe this one is the last one. Okay, this maybe one is the last one. one. <laughs> this one's the last one. No, please, I'm already overwhelmed with our choices. Secret weapon number three! A metal detector! I'll take it. Here. Detective Gumshoe. We're looking for something alive. Right. 
How are we supposed to find anything with a metal detector? Maybe Gordy is a mechanical monster. <laughs> hey, you never know. It might be in soda cans. Well, which will it be? Can we get a choice? Yes. Um, I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I can't make up my mind either for the totally opposite reason. Oh, well, I suppose it can't hurt to borrow one of them. Do we have a, cho a choice to, like, exchange them? Yes, we have a choice to exchange them, and certain things uh, will only happen if you have certain things, items. I want to right now the metal detector, and then a missile, okay. and then the sh fishing pole. I want to look around the um, place with the fishing pole, which, if I'm thinking, like, exactly what I thought he uses a fishing pole for, to so search, like, legs for shit. Uh huh. That it actually specializes in it. I'm thinking, they, I'm specifically thinking it specializes in looking for shit in the lake that they might miss. Sure thing, yeah. But like, not in like an actual fucking fishing pole. Yeah. All right, so, like I said, for us to the metal detector first. Can we borrow that metal detector? Huh, sure thing. Not sure what we're gonna find with it. Remember, you're hunting for a monster. Anything's possible, anything. Borrow I mean, the metal detector from right Duncan now. Genshu. Not totally out of my out of question because we're looking for a fucking monster. I love the I love uh, I love the metal detector. All right, let's let's go down to the lake. All right, let's go down to the lake. Okay, we shall go more into the lake. Uh, go ahead and examine. Wait, does it work by examining? No, I don't think so. Go ahead and examine the Steel Samurai and the banners. Doesn't the Steel Samurai look a bit out of place? I mean, it's so huge. I guess it's good advertising. Something about the Steel Samurai just doesn't work for me. Huh? Really? It looks pretty well made to me. <laughs> <laughs> Still a novice, aren't you, Nick? Really? True constitutor like Cody and me don't fall for this kind of stuff. Let me take a picture and show it to Edgeworth. These still Samurai fans are obviously a league of their own. I mean, okay. Any fans are able to, like, look at stuff and be like, Oh, this is shit, and this is crap. Come at me or, with like, trivia, this is shit, yeah. And this, 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 this is good shit. Yeah, like, come at me with Star Wars trivia, and yeah, I'm, I'm that fan. But, like, yeah, you know, if you're not into it, you don't really notice these things, you know? Alright, banner. These flags look sadly out of place here. All these flags. Flapping listlessly back and forth in the cold wind under a cold sky. I don't know. I think it gives the place a kind of festival atmosphere. It reminds me of the War of the Eyeglasses. What? The War of the What? <laughs> Good job, Phoenix. Uh, what? You mean you don't know the War of the Eyeglasses? What the heck is that? Our local fair used to do it every summer. Huh, I guess we were the only ones. I ask again, what the heck is that? Hmm, War of the Eyeglasses, huh? Alright. So wait, does, does the metal detective automatically work, or do we have to do shit with it? You know, I'll tell you, Echo. I don't remember. Okay, I want to still search the lake. All right. Rental boat shop. All right. Or and then by the seashore. Oh look! I was Beep. right. N Nick, it's beeping. The metal detector found something. Sure, sure is loud enough about it. Whatever it is, must be in those bushes. Go and check us out, Maya. Why do I have to check it out? Cause Phoenix is too lazy yeah. to do anything, apparently. Nick. Nick. Look! Oh ho! Uh, air can? That, is that the one from... Wait, an air tank? Looks... Va va the value looks broken. The valve? The valve! The value! Mmm! You sink. and me... You and me do look a bit the same, except yeah. these are sharper. Yes. Alright, and the valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. <laughs> Maya, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? 
<laughs> that tickled me more than I thought it would. <laughs> First of all, why would Gordy be in the bush? I think I'm going to try and find a scenario to use that in real life. <laughs> when someone says something as and I'll be like, First off, why would X be in the bushes? <laughs> We're not, it never like we're not even near the bushes. Just watch. First of all, why would X be in the bushes? Just watch. I'm gonna start taking stuff and hiding it in bushes now, just to say that line. And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? Because it's made out of metal and it's fake. Oh. Oh. Huh? There's something wrapped around this air tank. It looks like a string of flags. Well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. Good idea. It's heavy. Oh my gosh. Dubious. Of dubious value. Alrighty. Okay. Hey. 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 <coughs> Larry. Tell me about this. Yeah. What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you something about this tank. Is it yours? Is this your air tank? Say, is this air tank yours? What? Why would I have a thing like that? Look at, look. See how the strings of flags, wait, the string of flags around the tank valve. It's just like the string of flags around your steel samurai there. Oh my gosh! It must be a coincidence. Oh my gosh! He's faking Gordy. There's strings of flags everywhere these days. Well, like elementary schools, and used cars dealerships. Look, why would I need a tank anyway? To inflate something. You used this to inflate that, didn't you? Uh, inflate what? What else? That big puffy steel samurai. Oh my gosh, Phoenix. N no, why would you go be asking me a question like that? Looks like nail on the head. R right, right. Actually, um... See, the compressor I always used was on the fritz. So I tried using a tank to inflate it just once. And, uh, uh, it didn't go so well. As I suspected. Ask more about the tank. It didn't go so well? Uh, yeah. Do you think you could be a little bit more specific? C come on! Look, it's embarrassing, so I really don't want to talk about it. Gordy's fake and he knows it. Tell us! Tell us! Oh gosh, you can't say no to that! <laughs> Fine. Whatever. It's like what I said. The compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill the samurai up with it. And then... Blam. The valve busted open and it made this man scrabble noise. And the tank took off like a rocket. Uh-huh. And it took my steel, my poor deflated steel samurai with it. What? Off into Gorge Lake? It sure scared the, it scared me out of the my gourd. That's for sure. Ba bum. Tss. Wait, wait. I can talk about right, right. Flying yes. air tank. Um. So the tank and the steel samurai you were trying to fill up flew away. What happened next? Well, that happened on the 20th or so. The 20th, a week ago. Now, as far as I could see, a tank went flying out into the lake. So I went out every night on a boat searching for it. I mean, Keontae gave me that steel samurai after all. Keontae. <laughs> we keep changing it. Me and too! <laughs> and when did you find it? Just the night before last. It flew out there. It took me four whole days to find it. Wait, the night before last? No, not last night, but like before the no. day of the murder? The day, yes. At night time too, so it... The day, the, the day before the murder, yeah, yeah, the night before the murder, I don't know, yeah? The day, the day before the murder? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait. Damn, seven, okay, that was seven weeks ago on the 20th. Took four days to find it. So the night, two. the night. So four whole days. Yes. Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. So Christmas Eve. So this is during the night. 
of the murder. Damn. Oh, butts might have something. Butts might have something. That was the, the that was the night of the murder. Oh, that's that's what we concluded. Yeah. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. Look at that face. I don't trust you. But you see, I went home before midnight. Ah, oh, so you didn't know what happened. Oh, okay, you read it. <laughs> no. That's too bad. It's not all bad. We've solved one mystery at least. A mystery? Maybe we should go tell her. All right, let's go tell her. Yep. We all know it. We all thinking yeah. it. I said it. He. It was a fucking fluke. That was Gordy. That was the steel samurai. Loch, Loch Ness was a drifting piece of wood, and Gordy. Well, Gordy was a uh, deflated steel samurai. <laughs> oh wait, we probably should have. I wanted to talk to her first. I wanted to see what other stuff we could get with the dog and the fishing pole. No, you, you, you'll, you'll still be doing that. You'll okay, still okay, we'll still be doing that. Okay, Hi, Lana. Hey, y'all. Well, y'all find anything about Gordy? Um, no, nothing. Well, keep moving. It gets cold out there here at night time. It's, it is a little chilly. I I think I have to sneeze. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you don't. No sneezing. Watch you. Whoa. Oh, there goes another roll film. Um. Okay, last time it took Maya so long <laughs> to get it to work. I I don't know. I feel like a sneeze isn't as loud as when she shouted. <laughs> I guess it depends. Yeah, I tell you, no nah, sn nah sneezing. Yeah, no sneezing. That's bullshit. See, I said the camera would respond to things softer than a bang. Oh my. God. God, lady! I had trigger with trigger with one snap of Von Karma's finger snaps now. Oh, I'm sorry. That explains it, though. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, it's nice. But what about my film? Okay, this is bullshit. Deja vu. Bullshit. Nick. Nick, hey, hey lady. lady. <laughs> Sob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, Gordy. Well, Mr. Lawyer, you got you, you got all the info you need. You got the scoop on Gordy for me yet? Gordy we, doesn't exist. Liar. There's no such thing as Gordy. What? How can y'all be so so sure? Really, Nick? You got some proof Gordy doesn't exist? The proof that Gordy doesn't exist is. Okay, we still have it. Is here. here. Of course, I have proof. No lawyer worth his badge would make a claim without proof to back it up. Except for us, where we bluff our way to victory every time. Every time. Here's the proof that Gordy does not exist. Take that! Take that! Larry's air tank? Mm-hmm. What y'all doing with an air tank? It's heavy air. Like, I'm just imagining him lugging it around. Yeah. Uh, not even, like, carrying. He's just dragging it yeah. on the floor. Wait! Maya! <sighs> <laughs> This is heavy! Yeah, I have no idea. From, th from this, I always assumed that it was like a small air tank, like a size of like, at least like a two liter bottle of soda. Yeah. Um, but, making like, the ones that you go on scuba divers' backs are like, torso sized, so... Yeah. Well, it's like, three of these flags, which is... I don't know, I don't flags know, like, are usually about this big? Yeah, so it, it seems torso size. Oh, it's probably yeah. torso size poor ed poor edge worth. <laughs> poor Phoenix. <laughs> but it's poor edge worth too, but still. <laughs> in this case. Huh? Excuse me? Well, what exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here, a hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot who happens to be a friend of mine tried to fill it. He used this air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew. The tank flew up into and up. Ugh, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently, it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. <clears throat> a bang. Oh. The tank, along with the still deflated steel uh, samurai, fell onto the lake. At the same time, 
A couple was taking a photograph on the lake. This photo. This photo. <laughs> Wait. So, you're saying that Gordy is really the steel samurai? <laughs> As it, how do you tell me that case 3 has no relevance to this case? <laughs> how are you telling me this and the steel samurai is still here to haunt us? <laughs> As it's already been cancelled. <laughs> what <clears throat> bullshit is relevant to this case? Well, that's a fine way to ruin a gal's dream. I'm sorry, Lara. Nah, it's okay. You win. I'll give you your info, like I promised. Poor Lara. I've learned something in today's trial, that's for sure. Testifying is serious business. Oh my god, lady, were you seriously going to this being like... Woohoohoo, I'm gonna play the part of a witness. And like, take into no consideration that it is a murder trial? Right. That's why I decided not to talk about the case anymore. Huh? Well, oh, didn't I tell you I needed information about that case? Tell us that, at least. Like I said, I'll trade it for the, the dirt on Gordy. Oh my gosh, I yeah. can't believe he still did that. So, tell us the information you have. A promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard cops around here saying something about a witness tomorrow. They said he's the caretaker of the boat rental place up the path here. I knew it. Boat rental? There's Listen, someone there? Mm. I mean, it looks so deserted. Just an old guy living all by himself. An old guy. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, Lada. We will. Let's get cracking, Nick. Hold on. Something else? Yeah, the night of the murder. My camera click clicked twice, you know? Wait. Wait, so you have another photo? Well, yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. Just the lake. I figured it wouldn't be much of as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be how helpful at all. Here, take it. Second lake photo added to court record. Well, bye now. Y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. Poor Lada. It's all Larry's fault. <laughs> it's true, actually. The legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry. Familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. Hmm. Someone should whip that butt into shape. <laughs> 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 Come on, do some squats. <laughs> Okay, let me look at this photo. Oh man! All right, shows an empty lake taken automatically on twelve twenty four at eleven fifty p.m. So this is the, it's just the second lake photo, but it is the first one taken. Yeah. The other one was taken at twelve fifteen. And that shows clearly to the two men are there, still alive. Mm -hmm. So, where did the second bang come from? That's the question. Well, we she said she heard two bangs. Yeah, so right. The one that we, the, this is the second bang that she heard. Uh -huh. And she that's when she looked out. The first bang was when she looked out of the lake, but there's nothing there. Yeah. Or is there? Because we can't see it. Right. All right. Okay. Why would... Okay, so when it first... So here's the thing now. The second photo, mm -hmm. about 30 minutes later, shows them out in the lake. Right. The first photo would be taken when they're still going into the lake in the view of the camera. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. So that means that something was going on the first time. And wait, 30 mm -hmm. minutes later, that's that's a very huge difference between the bangs. She heard two bangs. Right. But that first photo was taken at a way different time. Mm -hmm. 30 minutes. That's not, or like, okay, 25. 25. 25. About 30 minutes. 
that's still too long between like two bangs. It's free with this photo showing like the, this sure. second shot. Supposedly second shot. Mm -hmm. Alright, well. Or the first, first shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who knows? The, the first one, the first bang that she heard set off that camera, the second bang will be that shot. Mm -hmm. But there's two, there's 25 minutes difference. Mm -hmm. Alright, well. Let's get the dog. Oh, yeah, uh, bow rifle shot too. Okay, let's check out the place and then get the dog. Because I want the dog. I want the dog. Hey, Nick, this is the boat shop that Lana was talking about. You're right. Doesn't seem to be anyone here at all, around at all. Well, let's check it out anyway. Alright, let's check it out. I mean, check out that door there. A small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone's is around. They probably closed because of the murder. Uh, I think it's the same thing. Let's All get right. the dog. And Ooh. maybe we'll find a key with the fishing pole. Oh, uh, what? Uh? Caretaker shack. What? 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 The, the rental shack? Uh huh. The boat rental? What? Wait. We just went in. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Meg, is that you? Eh? Is that hey, is that Keith with you? What? You know, I can't do it, old man's voice. Fuck this. Where have you two been? I've been worse sick. N Nick, you you handle this. Uh I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. Really? Meg! Yes? Finally made up your mind, have you? I can't do it, old man voice. Eh? Fuck this shit. But my mind you run the pasta shop when I'm gone? What? Is this the other witness? P pasta? Glad to hear, glad to hear. You make your old man proud. Um, I hope he's not the witness. When you two kids left your house, I didn't know what to think. How, how am I supposed to keep this place running, an old man like me? Polly, the kids are home! Hello! Hello! Oh wow, that was spot on. Holy shit. <laughs> Nick, what's that? A parrot. The one is on the uh, the one that oh uh, the one on that perch. Keith! Y yes? I leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, Sonny. Don't leave your wet noodle with me at all. <laughs> <laughs> Nick? What's the neck the wet noodle? Um, based on available evidence, I'd say the name of a pasta shop. Based on conjecture on what he's just said. Yeah. Not evidence. That's a relief, isn't it, Polly? Hello! Hello! Squat! Ah, yep. He, he fell asleep. I guess he... <laughs> Sorry. Brain fart. Relieved? Yes. Relieved. I don't know! I'm tired. It's late. It's getting late. Dude. Uh, should we uh try to talk? Should we examine? Let's examine the place. Uh, what's with that parrot? Wow, what an amazing parrot that is! Good morning. Hello. He ignored me. What? What? You forgot me? You gotta call her name first. Her name? Polly, how you been? Hello! Hello! Hello. Squawk! Polly. See? Neat! So the parrot's name is Polly? Parrot adds a court record! <laughs> Too bad all she can say is hello. <laughs> oh, Polly can say a lot of things. You just need to know the secret words. The secret words? As I try to do a man's voice but can't. Look, Nick, he has an electric blanket on his table. Looks warm. That's a great idea. We should do that in the office. We can sit there with our clients, snug and warm, and drink hot cocoa. And what? Talk about murders? Do you only get murder cases, Phoenix? <laughs> Probably. Aw, oh, you're a party pooper, Nick. Wow, he has a television in here, too. Uh, what's on top of the television? 
see. Hmm. It's locked. There's a gun in there. Wow, there's lots of various fish in Gord Lake, aren't there? Something's funny, Nick. All these fishes are all these fish are saltwater fish. Huh. Okay. What about that that fan up there? That kitchen unit looks like a kitchen unit. It's pretty clean. Funny, he doesn't look like he's the type who keeps tight things tidy like that. You're forgetting, Nick. He's running a pasta shop here. Um. Yeah. No clues. All right. Uh, talk to him. Is there any garbage. Garbage can. No, that's no. just television shit. I guess that's it. Okay. Um. The the pasta restaurant. Uncle. Hmm. Oh wait. That's hmm. A pasta shop. Ah, uh, yep. To think the wet noodle would live on when I'm gone. My father started it, you know? So that makes you two the dungeon generation. Meg. Yes? Tomorrow we'll start with the secret of dough do tossing. Uh, dough tossing? You two, Keith. Y yes You'll be the best pasta wrangler the West has ever seen. But pasta wrangler? Wrangler? The West? Is it pasta from Italy? <laughs> um... Well... I don't know. Nah. Meg! Meg! Yes? You know the best pasta's always been made west of the Rockies, don't you? Sure. Sure thing, Uncle. I mean... All the good Asian foods in Vancouver, Richmond... <laughs> Or at least in the United States and Canada yeah. area, North America. R right, of course, everyone knows that. Nick? Uh. How long do we have to keep this all in the family trade? Keep all this all in the family trade? This old man must know something about the murder. We're not leaving until we find out what that is. Uh, is this boat rental sh this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This here's the palace of the what? The palace of noodles, the wet noodle. The, the palace of pasta, the wet noodle. Though now that you mention it, we haven't gotten many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come over and say, yo dude, we want to ride in one of your boats. That's why I keep them bo both out there. Youngsters these days, darn if I understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. Nick, this isn't going anywhere. But the old man is a witness to all, right? We've got some. We've got to find some way of getting information out of him. Holly. It's the parrot. Ah. Ah, my memory's gotten worse of late. Why? Do, that's why I keep. I just tell everything important to old Polly here. Everything important? Hmm. I wonder. Polly, what's the vault number to the safe? One, two, two. One, two, two, eight. Squaw. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey, Polly, watch it, will ya? Hey, <laughs> hey. See, Nick? Uh, it all it takes is a little clever thinking. And a criminal mind. Quick, Nick. Run, crack that number down. Hey, don't get me involved in your little heist schemes. We're gonna need it. One, two, two, eight. Remember it. Yeah. Okay. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Look, a little safe. Nah. Okay. Okay, we have to wait for him to be gone. Okay. Um. Okay, nothing else here. Let's get that dog. All right. Let me just get that dog and look around. All right. You know I what? will check my memory. Dog, missile. Oh look, it we we new dings. Hmm, that the gumshoe was in here. Now that you mention it, didn't he say he had a meeting to go to? So I can't get the dog. <sighs> 
I mean, I had a good oh, hunch with the metal detector, but I still wanted to see the dog in the fishing pole. That's right. Let's come back later. I think we can pick up the dog later. Okay, I'm just saying this right now. I think voicing Maya for a long time has made me talk in a higher pitch. No <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Hmm. Well, I think what we haven't done yet, if my memory is correct, um, we could try presenting stuff to old uncle. Okay. And maybe that might get him to talk. 